Did I say that funny guitar player? Guitar? Guitar. No, you're from Texas. You're <laughs> guitar, yeah. Where's, where's your Texas drawl? Um, I think I've kind of lost it through the years. I used to be really bad, but I think traveling and everything, I've kind of picked up everybody's accents and kind of made it into one. My father had this uh, really good job, and it was about 81. The economy went down. We went under. We had to file for bankruptcy. We lost everything. So that's how we got into the music as a profession. That was our way of putting bread and butter on the table. It's talking about a forbidden love. That's really neat. You know, whereas before, it's like, uh, they don't even know I exist. Now they do. So it's really neat. This is unique clothing. You're not going to find it at any uh, department store. We have a little bit of everything. We carry clothing and we carry salon services, which is like perms, uh, hair weaves. <laughs> I didn't think I had a chance because of all the top names that were in the category. Well, I think one, for instance, you know, the Hana music and, and music like salsa merengue, um, it has a lot of rhythm in it. It's really easy to dance to, listen to, and, and most of the songs are very commercial. And I think this is... This is one of the main reasons that it's really growing. People are taking notice of it because of the fact that, that it is real danceable music. I thought for sure, I was like, okay, we're here. You know, I sh I'm, I'm happy, <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, we were really surprised, really, really surprised. And I was nervous, had butterflies in my stomach, and you name it, it was all there. Well, basically, Tex-Mex music is, it comes from the United States, Mexicans that were born here in the United, United States. And they've taken the culture of Mexico and mixed it with the American culture. And that's where the Tejano music came from. So they didn't accept it because it was kind of like, uh, it wasn't the real thing, in other words. And now it's become this new thing, and it's, it's taking Mexico by storm. I mean, everybody loves it in, in Mexico, and it's great. I didn't think I had a chance because of all the top names that were in the category. And I was really surprised when we walked away with the Grammy. That's why I'm really excited to be nominated again, again this year. Amor prohibido murmuran por las calles. El padre de Selena Quintanilla anunció en una entrevista para el podcast de José Rosario de Latin Groove News en Facebook que lanzará un nuevo álbum después de 25 años. Y en Corpus, en well, Texas, donde vivo, la humedad es tan mala. Creo que la gente está en el baño. Sorry. Okay. How, how many people do you bring in for a show? Well, it depends what venue that we're playing in. Uh, we played for crowds of 96,000. We've broken the record twice in a row at the Alamo, um, I'm sorry, the Houston Astrodome for attendance record there for Hispanic Day at the uh, fair, uh, the rodeo. And it just actually depends on what place. You know, if it's a concert or a dance, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. That's when did you know you wanted to be a performer? Because you started pretty early. Very young. I started singing when I was six and a half and recorded my first record when I was eight years old.